Hello everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's currently about 9 p.m. on July 12th, 2018. Murder Dog and I are currently hanging out at, well, we're at the laundromat. Time to do some laundry. Yes, uh, tomorrow, uh, late morning-ish, as soon as uh, my one daughter's doctor's appointment's done, Murder Dog and I are headed off to PA for a little weekend camping and uh, do some scouting out, see if we can uh, find a lo good location to bring the girls to soon. So, you know, that means laundry has to get done today because uh, I'm almost out of underwear. Hate when that happens. Anyway, since uh, since we recorded yesterday, we uh, we hung out again last night at our new favorite spot. Uh, when we got there, actually, there was, uh, for some reason, there was a fire truck down uh, at the end of the block we normally park on. No lights on or anything. It looked like they were doing some kind of training exercise. And anybody who knows me knows how hard I get triggered by firemen. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. For those idiots out there, I'll have to explain this one more time. I don't hate firemen. I have a problem with monopolized services like the FDNY. Volunteer firefighters, which these guys were, perfectly acceptable to me. Anyway, they were down there, so we, uh, we, w we moved a block over and hung out there for about an hour or two and then uh, went back, and they were all gone. So we hung out there last night, and uh, it actually rained a little bit last night, but luckily it was cool enough that I had closed the windows most of the way, so we didn't get rained on. That was good. And we woke up early as usual again around 6 a.m., started our day, you know, had my coffee out on the back porch, and then we ran off to hit the uh hit, hit the dog park early and then circle back to to get to the uh showers uh and when we did as uh as I was coming out of the shower at planet fitness I sat down in my car uh in, in the element and I decided to record a, a podcast I recorded an a episode of abolitionist abstractions which I was actually just going to do a filler episode this week, but I had been listening to a bunch of podcasts because I was catching up on ones that I had fell behind on over the past couple of weeks. And I listened to a few, and then the, the one today was like the uh, the final, the, the last straw, I guess. I was listening to uh, one of the most recent Dave Smith's Part of the Problem podcast. And between him and Tom Woods and Mance Raider, all talking about deciding to join the LP now and try, try, sort of join forces with the uh, Mises Caucus. Uh, I suddenly got the urge to talk about something, mainly how I am not going to be joining the LP or rejoining the LP, actually, because I, I am a former member. Um, so <laughs> I went into a little rant about that. That felt good to get off my chest. And as I was in the process of getting ready to edit it and try to post it right away, since we were sitting still at Planet Fitness so I could use the Wi-Fi, uh, a gentleman came up to my vehicle and asked, he said, excuse me, I don't mean to bother you, but can I ask you a question about your car carrier there? So I stepped out to talk to him, and first he was just asking, you know, he was he pointed out that he had a minivan that did not have a roof rack on it, and he was kind of curious as how, how as to how I got my roof rack, uh, how I got my car carrier to stay up on top of the car without a roof rack. So I was showing him that, and in the process of talking, it turns out he's actually a van nomad himself, although he's never heard of the term before. He just recently, like recently within the last few days, decided to start living out of his minivan to save money. So we ended up talking for about an hour or so. I introduced him to the Vanu podcast. I told him, you know, what, what Murder Dog and I have been doing out here. Uh, turns out this guy and I actually have a lot in common. He's got twins as well, a little bit older than mine and they're boys. But, you know, he's got twins. Uh, he's been on and off with his wife over the years. Uh, he has a dog, but they're li it's living with uh, the, his dog is living with the with his kids at the moment. Um, he hates New York with a passion. Uh, ironically, he's actually from Michigan, which is where I just came from recently. And uh, yeah, we had a great chat, and he was uh, he was so stoked to learn that there's actually people out here doing this. Uh, it was kind of like how I, you know, how stunned I was when I ran into that guy Stefan on my first or second week out here, and was like, "Holy crap! There's another vanarchist here on Long Island, or at least a van nomad. That's crazy." Well, apparently we're growing because now I met this gentleman and we exchanged numbers and I told him, you know, hit me up anytime you have any questions. You know, he was he was taking a whole bunch of information about, you know, what kind of stuff I had, what I use for cooking and all that stuff and uh, just trying to get ideas for himself. Uh, so that was really cool. That, that really gave me a great start to the day because, well, it's always good to meet another van nomad. And even though I've only been doing this for a month and a half, the fact that I could meet somebody and impart some of my wisdom already, it was great. And uh, yeah, he was super receptive. And we're going to try to hook up once I get back uh, from my camping trip this weekend. We're going to try to hook up again next week. And 
maybe hang out some because it's uh, we actually we're I think we're actually the same age too. A lot of freaky coincidences, which is kind of weird, but uh, yeah, re- uh, really nice guy and uh, definitely cool to meet another van nomad. So, like I said, that got me off to a good start. Uh, once I was done with that, I went to go meet up with the kids. Who, unfortunately, my one daughter is still kind of feeling off today. She was really cranky. We went to go get some ice cream because they had already eaten lunch because I got distracted by my conversation with the van nomad. So by the time I finally got back to them, they had already eaten lunch. So we went out to go get some ice cream for them and some lunch for me. And we hung out for a little while. And then they had to go because both my daughters still kind of feeling a little off. Um, so it kind of sucked. I, I didn't get to see him much again. But, you know, it's not uh, it's just how they're feeling. It's nobody's fault. Uh, so after I after I parted ways with them. Murder Dog and I just kind of sat around for a little while, and then we headed off to the dog park again, hung out there for a couple of hours, and since then, I I finally went to the Sprint store. I talked about that the other day. It turns out I can't port my number to Sprint because according to the Sprint system, I already have my number with them <laughs> since I use Ting, which uses their backbone. Whole big confusion, but I ended up working all that out and ended up getting myself an unlimited plan finally. Uh, so hopefully uh, I won't be getting any gigantic bills in the future and uh, I, won't, I won't have as much of an issue, um, you know, making contact with people when I'm out in the woods and stuff like that, which is, or anywhere away from Wi-Fi, which is going to be really nice. After that, ran, uh, ran, ran to go park somewhere else, make myself some quick dinner, and then Murder Dog and I had to hit Petco because uh, she was running low on food and uh, her candy, as I refer to it, her joint medication. I don't know. For some reason, I just started calling it candy a while ago, and she gets really excited about it. And she just takes it out of my hand and eats it. So I had to go pick up that stuff, and now we are here at the laundromat and, you know, waiting for our clothes to get washed, and then I'll throw them in the dryer. And since it's already after 9 o'clock, by the time this is all done, we'll probably head directly to our sleeping spot for the night and get all set up hopefully pass out relatively early because we do have to, i mean we get up early every day these days but i got to make sure i'm up early tomorrow so i can get to the shower get murder dog to the lawn uh, to the dog park really quick and then we got to head up uh head up a little north uh, northwest again to go to my one daughter's doctor's appointment again so you know at least i'll get that you know again it's going to be at a doctor's appointment but at least i get to see him so we'll get to ha- you know we'll hang out for a little bit there and then once that's done, yeah, Murder Dog and I are going to hit the road. Uh, I was going to try to record another vlog tomorrow morning and post it before I left. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. I'll try. Uh, if for some reason I don't, you guys probably won't hear from me again until Sunday most likely. Only because where I'm going out in PA, the chances of me having Wi-Fi are not very good. Uh, I have no, you know, like I said, I, ha- I now have an unlimited plan on my phone. But I don't, I'm not going to have Wi-Fi for the laptop, so we'll see. Like I said, I'm going to try to get one in tomorrow before I take off, and then I'm, I'm going to record every day either way. I mean, I'll record one. To, if I don't get it done tomorrow before I leave, I will record one uh, from PA, and then again on Saturday and Sunday. And like I said, I just may not be able to post them all until starting on Sunday, and then I'll probably dump one Sunday night, two, two Monday on Monday, and then two on Tuesday so I catch back up again. But, yeah, that's the plan. So, like I said, it's uh, – you know, despite only seeing the kids for a little while, it was still a it was still a really great day. Uh, you know, super stoked to meet another van nomad. Got a lot of stuff accomplished. So yeah, it was a productive day for us. Oh, and I even uh, I even scored a little work uh, for when I come back next week. Uh, one of my old clients needed a, needed some help, and uh, I told her I could help her out. So we'll uh, we'll pick up a little money on that end. So things are going pretty well right now. And uh, yeah, so with that, I think I will sign off keep this kind of quick because we're sitting here in the parking lot right next to the laundromat uh people are coming in and out so i try to keep the windows up so it's not too loud for you guys and uh, it's starting to get a little hot already so we're gonna sign off but thank you everybody as always for watching this has been abolitionist jay and uh i'll catch you guys tomorrow maybe well there'll be a vlog you might see it tomorrow you might not either way i'll talk to you guys soon peace y'all